What's up guys, I'm Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com. In this video, we're gonna go through the critical process died error in Windows 10. So in this video, we're gonna talk about a new type of BSOD in Windows. If you have a BSOD error, don't forget to check out our other video about uh, BSODs. But if you have the critical process died BSOD, stay in this video because we're gonna show you some solutions to fix it. As we've said in the other video about BSODs, various factors can indicate the BSODs, even some drivers from your Windows, even some apps or softwares that you use, even some physical components of your PC, the processor, the RAM memory, or even the graphics card. The first solution that I'm gonna show you is to run SFC Scanner. So SFC Scanner is one of the most cliche solutions for Windows related problems, but unfortunately it didn't prove to get the job done every time. However, in this case it may actually be helpful because it repairs system files or changed files that are actually the cause of the problem so if you don't know how to run the SFC scanner just do the following you have to press Windows plus X and then choose from this list command prompt admin don't forget it's very important to run the command prompt as admin because if you run the simple command prompt or CMD the scanner won't work so here in the CMD you just have to type in SFC slash scan now and then press enter the process will take a couple minutes and then uh, you will have to restart your PC and you have to see if the problem is solved the second solution would be to run an antivirus program you'll find a link for a very good antivirus on the article down below in the description so be sure to check the article out and Windows update could be the problem that causes the BSOD to solve it, the best solution would be to wait until Microsoft releases a new update and maybe that update will clear up the issue, will make your Windows run again as it uh, once did. I'm gonna recommend you to go in the article down below and uh, download the software from the article, you'll have a link there. So the driver updater tool that uh, it's in the article is 100% safe and tested by the WindowsReport.com team so you can do it without any worries. So guys, this was the video. Until next time, don't forget to leave a like on this video and check out the article down below. And also, if you find these videos helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So I was Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com. Until next time, bye-bye.